This is my latest acquisition from Banggood and it's commonly known as Helping Hands, although they actually call it a, mul a multifunction welding magnifier. Mm. It's many years since I've done any welding, but I do do quite a bit of soldering. So I bought this well, to help me. This is sealed up and arrived in the post this morning, well packed. So I'm actually going to open it, because it does rattle, <laughs> to see if it's smashed to bits or whether it's going to be wonderful. I must say, generally stuff from Banggood's pretty good. I've had very few problems. Now, I know I tend to look at quite a few bits and pieces from Banggood, and somebody did comment on one of the videos that I must be rich by now. But I have to say, these products are purchased with my own money, and Banggood has no idea what I'm doing with them, unless they care to look at one of the completed videos. But I receive money from nobody. That's why I'm poor. Anyway, let's see what we've got. We've got a bag here of various crocodile clips and bits and pieces, all sorts of things. We've also got a power supply lead, which is just literally for lighting up the... Oh, did I, I forgot to tell you. This has got LEDs in it, so we're on to a winner straight away. So let's see what we've basically got. And the first thing we see is this springy thing here, which is for putting your soldering iron in. Well, I don't have a soldering iron instantly handy, so I've just plunged a knife into it. Highly technical this, but it works, and it's on a screw thread with a locking nut on it. So presumably at the moment that is just literally just pushed in there. But um, I don't quite know what the thread is for because it doesn't actually appear to thread into anything. And the nut's fallen out now. So anyway, when that is screwed in there and held tight, that would be fine for placing your soldering iron in. Right, now I have to say, I've just attached this multi um, thing we jig for um, gripping things, and I have to say, you really need another pair of hands to put this on, because you have to put the crock clip in here, and that piece onto here, and hold the bottom nut, and turn the top nut to tighten it all at the same time with only two hands and uh, that's why I stopped the video because I've been fiddling with this for the last 10 minutes but on the good side um, it does go together rather well and let's say we're going to mount this PCB in here bear in mind I've only got one attached at the moment um, but it does hold rather well and I've actually got the light working now rather than turn it on I'll turn it off and you can see the difference admittedly the camera iris opens up but um, you can see it's actually quite a bright light there's literally one two three four five six seven eight nine ten LEDs and they run so far stone cold and I've just plugged it into a little um, 5 volt phone charging adapter and it's even the adapter's not getting warm so I don't think it's consuming a lot of power but it does seem to do the job quite well there's our magnificent PCB and actual fact if we're working on it we should be working on this side really shouldn't we and if we bring the light down onto it <clears throat> Apart from getting a few reflections, which is to be expected, I guess, works really well. Something slightly puzzling, this is the outside of the box, and it says here, two LEDs, light, lightness. Not quite sure what that means, but on the other side of the box, 
it says 10 LEDs high brightness now I don't know where these two LEDs are or how to switch them now on the side here is a switch which seems to be either down for off or up for on I don't see any other buttons or even where these supposedly two LEDs are well I've succeeded in getting both of these on now and so far this has been the hardest thing because as I said you need more fingers than the average person well <laughs> all people have got but saying that once I've finally done it it does hold things really well now this little vice is not terribly good unless I haven't got it mounted properly because it's a little bit wobbly and there's no click or anything I don't think anyway Ugh. no it's just loose on there there doesn't seem to be a, a click or anything so we'll try and clamp this board there's not much of an area on here to clamp so it won't be a good example well it holds quite well but the whole thing is a little bit wobbly and not that good to be honest so what have we got down here we've got a little dish which I suspect is for putting in a small um, piece of foam or something like that to wipe your soldering iron on now it's also wobbly why is that let's have a look I don't instantly see why it's wobbly but it is no I cannot see why it's wobbly something must be not quite right so that's a negative straight away that um, obviously if your helping hands are wobbling about they're not quite as helpful as they should be but I'm sure that's something I can deal with but saying that you shouldn't have to deal with it this rotates and is locked with this little knurled knob and you can also lift and turn it into various other positions so that's good and it's a nice firm hold that does get in the way a bit as it stands because if you're here you will want the soldering iron to be probably pointing in towards you so again not quite as brilliant as it could be lighting I'm impressed with and the magnifying is also good now looking through the lens which is claimed to be times 3 to 4.5 um, it's very clear and very clean now you can see also here there's a little spot magnifier which literally again if I remove it you can see that's what I was focusing on and from there you can hardly see it but if you get that right on the lens you can really see it this is where the batteries go they're in the base and this little standard thing comes off and it takes three AAA batteries well just to be sure and I'm not uh, doing something strange I've actually put batteries in here and it's now running on the batteries and when you plug the USB into it it changes over and there's no difference to the brightness whatsoever so as for there being two LED uh, only well I don't know I can only assume it's a different model 10 LED high brightness 2 LED lightness well it's really light because it doesn't have any no, I can't see any way of getting just two LEDs to light up well I keep finding more bits that slide out and move and this is another one of them which is quite useful but I still can't find this magic two LEDs or how to light them or even where they are well here's a close close-up of the LEDs the ones which are yellow are the ones that light up and in the photograph it shows you that there's two LEDs here well I've actually looked at them with a magnifying glass and there is not two LEDs there 
it's quite funny this is the picture of the front of the box and it shows various small Chinese people assembling electronic components and yet ironically none of them any of these pictures are actually using this product so is the conclusion if you're manufacturing in bulk you don't want one of these <laughs> I don't know I think it's quite good value and it will be useful to me and if it is useful to you you know where to get one from thanks for watching